The labor organizations have been engaged in the trade debate for a long time, for a couple of decades, uh, both in the United States and around the world. And my view is that governments should be welcoming the, the voice of labor because workers and their organizations, unions, can um, bring a different perspective to trade negotiations than multinational corporations. Workers and unions are more interested in good jobs at home. They're interested in the middle class. They're interested in the, the terms of trade. Multinational corporations who tend to be at the table and very influential in trade negotiations uh, often are interested in outsourcing. They're interested in profits. They're interested in getting the cheapest labor and the, um, the most minimal regulation and taxes and so on. And so unions have traditionally fought to have a seat at the table of the trade negotiations. And they show up at the World Trade Organization or certainly in any bilateral or regional trade agreement talks. Um, but sometimes they're treated as second-class citizens. They're outside the, the, um, the big talks. They're not given access to the trade negotiators and so on. And I think that's a mistake. I think it's a mistake on the part of governments. I think it's a mistake on the part of the World Trade Organization that any trade negotiation would benefit from having workers uh, more explicitly involved and at the table and offering their insights.